Hey there everybody, Thet here and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. We got a black bear here, it's pretty great. We got a wild boar down here, it's pretty great. The crown jackal has a couple of people passing by, it's pretty great. And we got a poison ship over here, it's, it's actually not that great at all. We're gonna have to do something about that, you understand. That's okay. My plan right now is to try to wake it up with the advanced mortar and then have the devastator mortar go to town on it. Now, I want to see our shooters here. We, we want someone who's not a great shooter, but also someone who could use, like, maybe a better gun or someone who's trigger happy. I don't think we have anyone here who's trigger happy. Oh, Brexio, but Brexio is actually not a brawler. I've never noticed this until now, but Brexio's not a brawler. Dude. Pick up this minigun after you're done sleeping. Yeah, someone who doesn't have much shooting skill is perfect for a minigun because the minigun doesn't have much accuracy no matter how many how much skill you have. Dude, three tortoise eggs? I'll take that for free. All right, we got some expansion going on down here as well. Probably end up making about half of this our animal area or something like that, and then being able to expand our actual buildings up here. Something like that. Maybe to put another barn here. So these ducks have a place to sleep. So right now, we got a buck that's self-tamed in here, so... Great. I guess we could try to tame another one. Sure. Deer may attack on a failed taming attempt, but there's only a 0.3% chance, so it's not that bad. Alright, we're still growing cocoa. We're still growing beans. Which is good, because we need beans. I'm questioning the potatoes, though. I don't know if they're worth it. I'm thinking we might want to do something else instead. Like maybe the carrots. Or sugar cane. No, we got sugar cane. Eggplant, maybe. Yeah, let's try eggplant. Eggplant. Tell me your secrets. That's not that doesn't have much fertility sensitivity either. Come on, I want something that's really sensitive to fertility. Squash. 60%. Tomatoes. 60%. Please. Carrots. 60%. Look. I know it ain't that great, but come on now. Wheat, flax, flour. I mean, let's see. What else is there? Enormous purple mushrooms. 15%? You're insulting me. Banana trees. 50%. Grape vines. 60%. Agave? 75 agave seems the best right now. Are you joking me? There's got to be something with like 100%. Come on. Pineapples? 60. Gooseberries? 60. Look. Cherry trees? 50? Does nothing have like 100%? Beans are 100%. That's why we got beans growing over here. Olives? No. 60. Lentils? One of the oldest known domesticated plants only has 60%. Snow beets, it's versatile. They don't die in the cold, but they only have 40% sensitivity. You have to understand. Watermelon, 60. Blueberry, 60. I, I really thought some more of these would have higher sensitivities. Corn. Corn's at 100 you grow more corn. Rice is at 100. We could grow rice very quickly. You know what? Let's do rice. Rich this soil. Then we'll plow it. And life will be good. Kampachi. Immediately. Like, I'm going to plow the crap out of this. Insert your own joke here. Anyway. We've got a lot of good stuff happening here. We seem to be out of marble. And out of coal. Yo. 
What's with the mining not getting done here? Memes, what are you doing? Playing horseshoes? Playing horseshoes? Is this actually a jest? Taming a doe. Attacked by a honey badger. Uh, you're actually not the best person to be doing this. You know what? Let's get you moving. Uh, Silvermane, please. Don't even insult me like this. All right. Shot to death. Good job, Jenny. Literally one shot is all it took to kill it. God dang, Silvermane. The man has done it. Right through the body. Right through the stomach. Stomach was destroyed. Didn't stand a chance. Not in this lifetime, at least. I don't know about the next one. I don't really keep tabs on that. Anyway. Apparently, we're going to grow some rice now over here. Which is fine. I just want stuff to grow with some sensitivity, man. I don't need no stone-hearted plants up in my house. Making a lot of bone marrow, too, it feels like. Which is fine. How much can I complain? I, mean, I could complain more about being out of kibble again. But that's because I got a bulk kibble order, you see. All right. We got plowing going on. Got us a little bit of potatoes. It's cocoa. Can you use cocoa in kibble? Because if you can, we could be making so much more. We, we don't use animal products. Ingredients? You can. But we require a lot of it. You understand. Anyway. What can we do with cocoa again? We can eventually, with with the sugar cane, we can make that in a chocolate. And that's kind of the plan. Is to eventually make chocolate. We can't make it here, though. We're going to need a new place to make chocolate. Which is probably fine. Actually, it's not that fine. I should really grow this a bit more. Alright, well now we're definitely losing power over here. I guess we need some more sources of power while we're doing this. I could just throw up a wind turbine or two. Especially if most of this is just going to be... Going to be growing area, but... Eh, I might not do that yet. Solar roofs sound like a good idea, too. I, mean, I could throw a solar roof over here and just solar roof the barn. Or I could slap one right here on this end. On this edge, I should say. And solar roof any of these buildings. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of potential for solar roofing. How am I out of components? Is this place seriously out of components? Two components? Yeah, I guess so. I guess we're gonna need to dig up some more components. Blows my mind. Actually blows my mind. Uh, elephant revenge? Excuse me? Excuse me. You've made all the elephants mad. Triple strike. Why have you done this? I mean, not that you care that much. Yo, you're gonna need to uh, do some more elephant hunting here. Dude, this gun he has is actually insane. Wow. Dude, that accuracy, though. Oh my god, and the damage is not that bad either. 19% shooting skill, I'm sure, helps a little bit. This was you still maintaining stuff? You are, technically. Memes, I'm gonna need you to, like, get to mining and drilling, so I'm gonna put your training skill at 2. We got plenty of trainers. So I'm just gonna put yours down a little bit. I need you to do mining. Alright, I need you to mine out stuff. Also, I think I'm going to end this compacted steel order. Because while we do need more, I don't want you to automatically set it to be mined out. Because we actually have more than enough right here. It's just not getting hauled in. So, stop that. Alright, do one last training. And then no more training. Eat the skibble. What? Said, eat this kibble. What? 
fail your training, you freaking loser. Why? What? 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 This should be part of this growing zone. You don't understand. I... Is the hide a reason why? Or is there actually like a... There is a stockpile zone under this. Excuse what? When did I... I'm sure sometime I did, but when? Okay. That's weird. That was weird. Brexio, how's it going? Taming Wild Boar. Well, when you're done with that, could you do me this favor and equip this minigun? It'll be great. You'll see. You won't even... You won't even believe it. It'll blow your freaking mind. We got a raid with a relationship. A group of tribes people from the Dominion of Meg... Meabrigyel have arrived nearby. Apparently, I... Oh, it's Partridge. Ex-lover of Colonist Thet. You mind, even though they're related, they'll still attack each other. Because they're jerks. Oh! That's a lot of dudes. And it looks like they're attacking pretty much immediately. So, uh, if we could be so kind. Henry, you're literally right here. Turn on this power. Everyone else, get inside. Animals. For now, I want everyone to the home area. Even the livestock animals, because why not? All right. Just stay in a safe zone, please. All right. I'm sleeping. I won't even notice. Okay. Let's get me over. Let's get uh, Dismas over here. And Volpe over here. That should be good for now. Turrets are coming online. Should be a relatively easy raid. I mean, they're tribals, so how hard can it be? All right. They might knock down some of these walls, which will be weird, but it'll be fine. Oh, wow, that's actually close enough for them to shoot back. Get back here. Okay, most of their guns probably can't make it this far back. And by guns, I mean bows. Because if they have guns, I'm going to actually freak out. Yeah, they're destroying our freaking fences. Which is fine. That stuff's not even considered home area yet. It's a minor cut for Volpe. No real big damage. Oh, man. Dismas. Triple strike. You know what? You have, like, infinite freaking skill as well. Why don't you come down here and use your gun, too? Pretty sure your chance of hitting anyone at, yeah, like, 70. Yeah. Hey, Amor! Why? You're supposed to be in the home area. Where are you going? Why are you not... Why are you out here? Oh, we got an opening. Wow, they actually busted in a door. Hmm. I still don't think they stand much of a chance, but, uh... They're trying to... Oh, okay, they're gone. Triple strike was the... Was the additional edge that we needed there. Go ahead and reconnect that door. Don't come into our door. Dude, don't bust down our door, please. Alright? Leave our door alone. Do what? What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, they can't come out this way. They're actually trapped. I get it now. Uh, Reynold, can you try to repair this somewhat? You have zero construction skill, so you should be okay. <laughs> That's a joke, but oh yeah, he's not repairing this in time for anything to happen. Uh, you might want to back off a bit. They're going to try to run away, so I'm kind of just setting these guys up to take pot shots at them. 
Sandra? Just stand in the corner. Yeah, they're 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 gonna run at the top priority, so you know it's not like we're gonna be in too much trouble. Where am I? I'm over here making some freaking chem fuel. Important stuff, I know. Dude, we're gonna have a lot of cleanup to do. <laughs> oh, hey, why don't you help out Toxo? And by help out, I mean knock out. All right. Yeah, they're going up that way. You're still going to have to go through a freaking... Okay. Whatever. Cool. Go ahead and capture Toxo. Sandra, I don't know. Come over here and capture Nightingale. Yeah, sure. Bogue. Go ahead and capture Orange. I don't want a draft station for this right now. Chewy, dude, you have a gun. Use it. <laughs> God dang, you do not have accuracy, though. Good lord. Pepsi. You can pistol. Alpaca 3 has been shot to death. I mean, I'm not too... Sp the alpacas are trying to fight. I'm actually, like, mad that they're trying to fight. Okay, one more to go. We'll get the... I mean, we have plenty of animals. I'm not even mad about losing one or two of them, okay? Just in case you think I am. All right. All the orders will go back once we do some manager work. Got a nice destructive ironwood longsword. Wow. 16 damage per second. That's really good. I hope we get to repair that. All right. Go ahead and unforbid everything. Unrestrict everyone. Save Horatio and Spark, hopefully. Who were just caught in the crossfire. I mean, they weren't going to make it in. But they will live, almost definitely. So let's see. Okay, you brought him inside. Go ahead and do what you're going to do here. Sation, please rescue Spark. And, Bo, did you bring the other person in? Not yet. So, I tell you what, Chewie, you were somewhere, so you rescue Horatio. I will capture someone else. Uh, let's get Magpie, sure. Dismiss. Eating a cheeseburger? I guess I'll give you a minute to eat your cheeseburger. Volpe's going the rest. Uh, triple Strike's butchering the alpaca. He's just wasting literally as little time as possible. You know who I don't see in here? Is Partridge. Did Partridge die? Yep. She didn't make it. Had a nice chat with Senpai, though. Look at that. Zero cares. All right, then. Cool, cool, cool. I'd say that was fairly successful. I mean, a bit of animal damage, which is unfortunate, but not terribly unexpected. Dude, even the unbuilt... High security fence gates are stronger than like wooden, fully built walls. This stuff is nuts. Bulk goods, trade, ship, black jackal, interplanet interplanetary. Excuse me. Intergalactic planetary. We'll go ahead and actually use the comms console after we drop off our prisoner here. So we got Toxo. Not missing anything. Has a permanent wound over here on the left shoulder may not make it but who knows lazy diplomat glutton astley ast i'm not even gonna try it this this thing likes pretty things good melee i mean that's about it someone who's likes construction though is always a welcome hand uh sandra you're good to actually go how did you get hurt primitive spear go rest up bogue you're good to go which is good because you can use more doctors here. Orange. Ah, he's going to be dead soon. He, Bogue might save him, though. Her. This guy, he's lost a rib and a toe. He might not make it. But he'll make it. Ooh, wow. Uh, go over here and try to attend the Locust. We'll see if he can make it. Magpie. Ooh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, There's some injuries over here. Some of these people just are not going to make it. 
They're just straight up dead. That's what you get. That's what you get when you come over here and you mess with us, okay? Did both the animals get saved and patched up already? No, they, well, they got saved. Thank you. Good good job, guys. All right, Bogue. Well, you're, you're patching people up. You know what? The animals have a while to live. Oh, they're selling geckos. I don't want any, but they're selling them. I don't want to sell my silkies. All oh, red pandas would be great, but I'm not going to I'm not going to do it. I'm going to resist the urge. I do want to buy 200 components. Don't get me wrong. I shouldn't, but I want to. In fact, uh, we actually didn't have enough time between this bulk goods trader and the last to really build up as much as I wanted. I mean, we could get another 1,000 plasteel, but I think having 2,000 of it is pretty darn good for right this second. We made some stuffed dolls. So we're going to make some money. That's good. They're uh, a little, little interesting looking, but that's okay. Sell them nonetheless. Sell some primitive spears. And some tribal clothing. Um, Not the bandolier, but everything else is fine. This band or this apron, sure, we'll sell that. Uh, let's see. Here's some tribal wear and some pants. We keep the... Eh, you know what? They're poor pants. We could sell them. Sell a couple of poor pairs of pants. Feel free to say that five times fast. I don't think there's anything else I necessarily want to look through. There's cloth fancy pants. Ooh, a War Engineer's Comlink. Global work speed up. Repair success chance up. I didn't even know there was a repair success chance. That's weird. Oh, it's if, if, if something completely breaks down. I get it. But the global work speed and global learning, learning factor is pretty cool. I'll go ahead and buy that, I think. Sure. I'll buy cool things every once in a while. The hip dude. Don't actually oh my god the war god's crest i want it so badly it's so good <laughs> i want to see if i can afford it what if i just sold you know what we have so many materials we should sell some clothing this is extra clothing this is stuff we're not wearing i'm gonna sell some clothing let's make money you know I mean, there's even some tribal wear stuff in here that hasn't been sold yet. But we have the materials to replace almost all of this stuff. We should really be selling more of it, I think. There you go. I don't really want to sell hemp fibers because they're not worth that much by themselves. We got 152 whiskey in a place where we can sell it. I know we probably have like a couple hundred more outside of that. Sell some apple cider. Sell some... No, not smoke leaf pills, actually. Don't sell that. That's a... Uh, that'd be a... Kind of a... Foolish thing to do. I don't really want to sell hemp creep blocks. Or smoke leaf seeds. I do want to start making stuff out of hemp biocomposite. Don't forget about that. That's actually worth... A surprisingly large amount of money. Don't want to sell penicycline. Don't want to sell medicine. I could once again. I could sell the hides. You know, what? I might sell some Stegosaurus hide because we have we can find Stegosaurus relatively frequently in our other colony. Yeah, why not? Make a little bit of money. Sell a pig skin as well, and some other miscellaneous skins that we aren't going to use. I don't want your thousand eggs but i appreciate the support nonetheless or your nine thousand potatoes but hey we still made money and we got ourselves the freaking war god's crest which we already have one of so reynold has one and now i suppose sandra will get the other one actually i should ship it over and give it to brexio because she's our, she's really our next best at ranged combat. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's actually, we don't even need to haul it urgently. It's never gonna break down. It's just too good. Here's our 2,000 silver. 
punctured a well it would have punctured a hole if it was if there was a hole to be punctured move this inside urgently please thank you and that'll be good okay we l arguably lost a lot of value there but we'll get it back in time actually we still have a lot of silver anyway 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 this is done. We can ship that War God's Crest over at another time. But yeah, replacing her shield belt will be a fantastic move. It'll be actually really good. We gotta get the rest of this done as well. I don't know why it hasn't been. But I'm not here to ask too many questions. We are here to get rid of this poison ship, though. That thing has to go. And we still haven't even started on it, really. Alright, next day we'll probably get that thing done. How are we doing over here? Shield user has a ranged weapon. Well, for right now she does. I can have her drop the shield whenever it's necessary, but for now, Katana is going to be her primary weapon. Severe illness on four of these folks, but it looks like we have the best doctors in the dang galaxy. Uh, excuse me, a Coriathosaurus has become tame. It's called Coriathosaurus 1. Just, I mean, we gotta try to tame a female now. Dude, we could... We might have to rename Century City to Jurassic Park at this rate. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that idea, in case you were wondering. Uh, yes, please. Uh, ooh, a primitive spear of success. Cool. All that in. Everyone else is cremate material. Not too upset about it. All right. I, I can't believe all of you lived. I'm actually... Even you're going to live. Because we have the greatest doctors on this goddamn planet. We got one animal that needs to be patched up. Horatio. We got one animal who's kind of mad. Wild Boreo. We need to uh, take care of that here once we get the chance. I mean, right now, I'm not too afraid of it. But it's coming. It's moving. Uh, Nightingale has gotten an, an, an infection. That's what I was trying to say. I mean, it's unfortunate, but I understand this. I do. You're just going to be mad, huh? Boogaboo is pregnant. It's pretty great. We'll wait till the next day before we deal with that. Anyway, back over here. Let's take a tab at our prisoners. Toxo can walk again. That's pretty great. Oh, you're still going to die in seven hours, but that's okay. You got you got a chance. Let's take a look at someone else. Nightingale. He's a vengeful child and a warrior, as you can see from his shooting skills. He's also passionate about crafting, which is not a problem necessarily. Got a hidden one down here. New ideas disappear in Nightingale's mind. Gives you a little bit of intellectual. Movement speed is down. Global work speed is down, but research speed is way up. Seriously not useful to us. That's actually pretty bad. Heat lover is good. Perfectionist is okay. Misogynist is not really great. Uh, psychically dull is good. Chemical fascination is really bad. So I'm, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of you. Orange, volatile may break at any time. I mean that's obviously bad. Chemist, but also an optimist. So you know, chemist. That's okay. That's actually really good for all those skills. And having 11 crafting is not bad at all. Orange has a lot going for her, from what I can see. Animal lover, nearsighted is a little bad, but that just means we wouldn't want her to necessarily be a fighter. Fast walker, psychically... These are actually great. Most of these are fantastic. We'll try to recruit you for a little while. Everyone else, we'll just have a good old friendly chats with. Got an inspiration over here, a work frenzy on triple strike. It's pretty great. Locust, let's talk to you. See what... Orange, are you missing anything? No, you're not. Okay. Orange. A s wow, that's a lot of passions. Mining, growing, construction, and cooking. He's a neurotic nudist who's also a prostophobe, which is not a problem because he's not missing anything. He's also a sucker, so you don't want him to do trades for you. But, wow, he has a lot of potential, even though he has potential for breaks as well. I'll try to recruit him. Magpie... 16, Deadshot, Steadfast, Stoner. I mean, these are all fantastic. Deadshot is amazing. But all of these are good. <laughs> I mean, we can try. 
So we got three that we'll try to recruit. Two of them are definitely getting kicked out. Uh, we need to go ahead and actually turn off our turrets as well before I forget. How's this battery doing over here? Eh, it's got some days left. Okay, over here, memes is off doing stuff like eating. That kind of stuff that you do. Where is that boar? There was a mad boar. I guess he just... Oh, nope. He's right there. Okay. Can you run and gun with the freaking... With this? Because if you can, that would be hilarious. But I don't... No, no, you can't because it's too big. I know this. Alright, don't use that weapon. Let's see if we can get you back to base. I mean, if not, you'll just fight the boar and you'll win. But let's see if we can get you back to base first. You'll win because you're Brexio. And I'm pretty sure your melee skill of 10 is worth more. Ooh, it tried, but it failed. Dude, our boar is helping. Uh-oh, they got into a boar fight. We can't let our boar lose this fight. Oh, man, but our boar is winning. Look at that blood. Ooh, baby. Wow. That was one cut. Hit three legs and cut one off and cut off a hoof. Wow. Thrashed with his forceful tusk, but missed. Brexio separated the boar's left hoof. Dude, that doesn't even begin to talk about what happened there. Three in one hit. Brexio is actually a legend. Hunt it, finish it, do something with it, eat it. I don't care. You know what? Just finish it. Good job. You okay, Boar? You'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. It's good. All right. Next time here on That Plays RimWorld Beta 18, we'll take on this psychic ship. No, it's not psychic. Poison ship. We'll take on this poison ship and try to, you know, actually destroy it. I think we'll be okay. It just depends on what creatures they bring to bear. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to let me know by giving a like if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more. You know the deal because it's going to keep coming and it won't stop coming. Thank you again for watching this episode of Thet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. My name is Thet. This is a poison ship friend. And I'll see you in the next video. Please don't get yourself killed, Silvermane.